Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome to Puzzle Monster Quest. Now, as you guys noticed, I just hit level 60. Yay for me. Uh, I'm going to get a bunch of cool materials. Uh, I just used a skip ticket and I kind of wish I would have shown you guys how to use a skip ticket. Uh, but it's no big deal. 19 seconds, 19 seconds, 19 seconds. Oh my goodness, 19 seconds. Can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, we made it. All right. <laughs> so, um... I just hit level 60 guys and the cool thing about that if you notice at the beginning screen is my stamina jumped from 43 to 48 now from what we figured out in this game every time you hit a, uh, a level goal like that your stamina takes a gigantic leap and I do mean a gigantic leap um, this is the other thing we're talking about right now is the Bobo car the Bobo I keep calling it Bobo carnival I don't know why I keep calling it Bobo Carnival. Uh, it's the Bobo Dance. Now, um, if you've been playing this game, you know how desperately important Bobos are in this game. Um, Bobos are what you use to level up your monsters. And monsters... Oops, I'm, I backed myself into a corner here. Monsters, um, their, their, their strength and HP, their attack and HP, radically changes from level 1 to their max level. Now... Uh, four star monsters will go from 1 to, fi five, one to 50, 5 star monsters will go from 1 to 70, uh, 6 star monsters will go from 1 to level 99. Um, and then the cool thing about it is, well not so cool, but you actually get to start over at 1 every time you evolve a monster. So you could have a monster that hit like really strong and was really great at level at 4 stars. Think twice before you evolve them. Just think twice to four of them. And by the way, this is kind of like just a let's talk of kind of recapping what I've learned so far from this game. But if you have a four star monster at max level, think twice before you evolve him because you may want to hold off and wait until you have enough Bobos to take that monster back up to the same level it was before, comparably, or even higher. That's a really important thing. Um, because you think, oh my goodness, I have a four star, I'm going to evolve him to five star and he's going to be even stronger. No, be careful, be careful, because that will really hurt you. Um, is Miss Ricky here? If Miss Ricky is here, let me, let me, uh, Miss Ricky, if you're here, let me know and, uh, come talk with me. Or was I? Anyway, um, okay, so that's, that's the one thing. Uh, second thing is dances do happen only twice a day, so time yourself correctly. They kind of happen at the exact same time every single day. Oh, there's Miss Ricky. Let's bring Miss Ricky in here. Uh, yeah, if you want to join me on Discord, Miss Ricky. Um, so that's a, that's a really interesting thing. The fact that they only happen twice a day and you kind of have to time it right or you... You, you, there's no other way of evolving. Miss Ricky, are you there? I am here. Hey, how's it going? It's going pretty good. Awesome. So we're just, I'm just doing a little bit of a video, kind of like recapping everything we've learned so far uh, on Puzzle Monster Quest. Um, is there anything that you want to say that you found that you're like, oh, this is interesting? <laughs> yeah, there's <laughs> too much. Of my, I know. <laughs> I know, I know. There's, yeah, that's why I just started talking because I'm like... Well, there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Oh, you know, actually, this is something I do really want to talk about. Um, the fact that you don't have to pull in this game. Uh, I've had a lot of people comment in videos on YouTube saying, oh my goodness, it's so expensive to pull. What, you know, it's horrible. And I'm not denying that. Um, it's pretty expensive to pull in this game. Um, what did we calculate? $40 a pull, I think it is? Is that about right? Yeah. yeah. Um, but... And this is something that I, I, I need to actually have people help me with. Um, I am misinterpreting the game because I am advancing pretty much just on polls. Uh, and again, that is because I have put a lot of my own money into this game and the fact that Kick9 is sponsoring me, which is really helping me. They are throwing me crystals every once in a while, which has really helped. But you don't have to pull at all to advance in this game, do you? Nope. And not not at all. Yeah. So could you explain? Because I'm all, I'm still stuck on eleven. I haven't gone past zone eleven. What zone are you on? I'm on um, in the twenties. I I haven't actually completed uh, 20, 19, 18, or seventeen. Oh my um, goodness. Yet, well, I completed nineteen, but the others I haven't. I've been uh -huh. focusing on 
on other stuff. But yeah, I got there purely on on quest. Have you hit a wall yet? Um, it's kind of difficult those levels, mm -hmm. but I honestly attribute that to the 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 defense and the armor and stuff because I hadn't really updated my armor at mm -hmm. all. Uh, except the only armor that I updated was or upgraded evolved was my um my ice armor and so um and my lightning armor so it right. it was really difficult for me in those levels because they just hit like a truck I was doing good enough damage but the the monsters were just hitting me for like a thousand two thousand wow so that's like level yeah. of hard attack on titan one yeah, but yeah, it is it is possible to do um, with with quest medals. I beat uh, zone nineteen with just my quest medals. Wow, you know, and or medals, <laughs> and yeah, monsters. monsters. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I I call them monsters in KHRX now too. Um, so this is the this is the other thing though. Are you are there any secret bosses that you haven't gotten yet at those higher levels that could really help you? I haven't actually gotten any secret boss really? drops. I've just gotten boss wow. drops. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, so that's a whole other thing there. The secret boss drops are, I mean, and, and this is something if you don't know, but if you're playing this game and you're doing a regular quest, a lot of times you will get a secret boss and that secret boss has a chance of dropping himself or also the the boss in that level. And see, some secret bosses are ridiculously strong. They are so oh, yeah. powerful and so good. Um, okay, the other thing I want, okay, really talk really quick, and I know I'm jumping all over the place, but here, if you guys notice on screen, I have just selected 10 golden bobos. Um, now, golden, five-star golden bobos are pretty much, if, if you're just starting out the game, just starting out the game, and you get a four or five-star uh, bobo, he's not bad at the beginning. I mean, they're pretty good working. Uh, I mean, playing at the beginning. Um, but they can't be leveled up. So I use the Bobo. I used the green five star Bobo for the four star Bobo for the longest time before I realized what they were actually for. But um, Bobos, what they are actually for is for money. If you notice, they are each worth 50,000 gold. Um, the right here, I have 500,000 gold. And I've been saving these Bobos actually for a week just to show you guys this. Um, but if you collect 10 Bobos, or you just run the bobo, the golden bobo quest, which happens every Saturday and Sunday. Money gold becomes insanely precious in this game really fast. So I'm going to sell these right now. You're going to see ten golden bobos, five star golden bobos, selling for five hundred thousand, and I'm going up to three point nine million. Um, I'm I'm constantly grinding the golden bobos on the weekends because you can spend a ginormous amount of money it is insane how much money you spend in this game trying to evolve your things and the second thing i want to talk about the last thing i want to actually the last thing i want to talk about in this video is yes today is the very last day of the attack on titan um character event uh now i'm pro you probably guys probably won't see this video until tomorrow so the attack on titan event will be gone uh but if you go to the open soon section it's gone it was here before did you, did, did you see what was here before? I saw it in a screenshot, oh. but when I looked, I after I looked it's in my own game, God. I didn't see it. Wait, wait, what's it called again? I saw it. I saw it like right after. So we actually got a sneak peek at the next event. Let me see if I can pull it up. I'm not going to show it on screen just in case uh, they don't want it shown, but it is called... Raging Inferno. Uh-huh. Raging Inferno Hard. That sounds scary right there. And and it's another fire too, yes. which is surprising. I don't know who that is, but see, this is the really cool thing and this is the really cool thing about like the attack on Titan. And today actually I am going to try the hardcore. And I'm going to spend jewels, uh, crystals to pass it. I mean, we're going to do okay. So there's a lot happening today, but I do want to try this eventually today and I want to see if I can pass it. Um just because it it's it, I mean, apparently these ones drop like every single time I've heard. Um, and also, have you seen the boss in this one? I don't know if it's 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 a female titan, isn't it? Oh, it's just a female titan. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she I doesn't was... drop the, her common. Oh, she doesn't. Or her rare, yeah, oh. her three star drop. She doesn't drop it. So, 
you know, that doesn't guarantee that those will drop for you, but yeah. you won't get <laughs> what always drops. <laughs> yeah, interesting. Yeah, and, and with my luck, I probably won't get anything. Um, but yeah, so but this is my question: if I already if I already have the female Titan, why is it that on the hardcore version she shows up in white? Is it just because I haven't it's, done it? It's because you haven't completed it. Oh, yeah, okay. all, all, right. all quests that you haven't done. That's that what I was wondering. I was like, for. uh, what? Hey, anyway, the, and the last thing about this, okay, the last thing I want to talk about in with the next event that's coming up open um, is it's worth dedicating some time doing to the events because you can get the secret boss in the events. And I have one. I have gotten one Colossal Titan. I don't know if anyone's gotten more than one, actually. Has anyone gotten more than one? You are so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> well, you remember when this event first came out, I spent and ent- I am not kidding you guys. I ran this event over 80 times before I got my first one. But he is he is a beast. I love him. He is awesome. Um, and I have I think I have nine, ten. I have ten. I have ten. Yeah, I have ten female titans, uh, which I need to combine soon. I don't know. I haven't even used her. She seems okay. Oh, she does knock back. Oh, and at 16? What? Why mm-hmm. have I not been using her? She is so good. And she's a buffer. And she's a buffer. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, okay. So, you know what? I am so far behind in this game, and I'm playing it every day like crazy. Um, there's so much to talk about, guys. But this is like the first Let's Talk I wanted to do about Attack on... About... Not talk. About Puzzle Monster Quest, the collaboration with Attack on Titan, which, by the way, also by the time you guys see this video, that collaboration will be gone. So, as of tonight at midnight, you will no longer be able to pull these these um, the Attack on Titan characters. Now, and this is something that I've asked, um, after tonight, these characters are not, they're still in the game, and you can still use it use them but you won't be able to pull them like you have in other special events like see how it says up here special whenever they say special because there will be other future special events that i hope will be just as cool um whenever you see the special event or the special up here it means that they are only available when this banner is up now the this doesn't mean that the attack and titan um collaboration won't come back in the future it can it might who knows uh, but it's very important that if you've been trying to save up, like I have been, to try and get Levi, <laughs> that you do it now while you still can. Or again, like I said, you guys are going to see this video uh, the next day, so I'm sorry if you didn't. Anyway, um, anything else you'd like to add, Miss Ricky? No. Okay. So yeah, so we're definitely going to keep doing videos like this because... Um, I really do like uh, doing little let's talks now about this game. This game, it, and you know what? I'm just looking, just right here, I'm looking at my screen, and there's so much stuff I want to talk to you guys. I want to talk to you guys about more about the gold, the VIP, the levels, how stamina restores and everything. There is so much to talk about this game. Um, so, yeah, we will definitely approach that in the future. And uh, thank you, Miss Ricky, for being with us, as always. Well, and thank, um, you. thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, I am DUJ2. This has been. Puzzle Monster Quest, the collaboration with Attack on Titan. I don't have to say the whole thing for very much longer. We'll have to see what happens tomorrow. And uh, thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you later. See ya.